Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle to appear at special U.S. event costing £4,430 to attend with media band. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and wife of Prince Harry, will be the featured guest at a Women's Fund of Central Indiana event, November 29, at the Indianapolis Marriott downtown. The Power of Women, an evening with Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, will include an interview conducted by Rabbi Sandy Sasso, the first woman rabbi ordained by the Reconstructionist Judaism movement. She previously led Congregation Beth El Zadek in Indianapolis. Advisory Board Chair Tavana harris Askew said, Women's Fund of Central Indiana believes in the force of women's voices, women's experiences and women's work. We know that Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex does too. We are honored that she will join us on this special evening to celebrate our common cause, the power of women. The event is closed to the media and guests must confirm they are not part of the media to attend. It comes as Meghan and Prince Harry have been praised for their moral courage, as they won an award for their work on racial justice, mental health, and causes that make a positive social impact. The royal couple have been named as Ripple of Hope Award laureates by the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights RFKHR, organization for the work they do through their Archwell Foundation. They join Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who has also been honored this year. The award is given to those judged an exemplary leader across government, business, advocacy or entertainment, and who has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to social change and work to protect and advance equity, justice and human rights. RFK Azure is named after Robert Kennedy, a U.S. Attorney General and Senator who was the brother of President John F. Kennedy. The organization aims to realize Kennedy's dream of a more just and peaceful world since his assassination in 1968. Its president, Kerry Kennedy, said of the Sussexes, the couple has always stood out for their willingness to speak up and change the narrative on racial justice and mental health around the world. They embody the type of moral courage that my father once called the one essential vital quality for those who seek to change a world that yields most painfully to change. Harry and Meghan were chosen because they have demonstrated a lifelong commitment to building strong and equitable communities, advancing the global dialogue around mental health, and advocating for a better world, both on and offline, the organizers said. Since co-founding the Archwell Foundation in 2020, the couple has found remarkable ways to progress their mission to uplift and unite communities, the citation added. RFKHR highlighted causes that Harry and Meghan have supported including supporting Afghan refugees seeking resettlement, to backing paid parental leave in the U.S., investing in organizations working in Ukraine, and partnering with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People to create the first Digital Civil Rights Award. They were also praised for their work with the World Health Organization, People's Vaccine and Global Citizen Groups to champion vaccine access globally and raise funds to buy doses for frontline health workers. Harry and Meghan join a host of high-profile powerful figures who have won the award, including former U.S. Presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, current President Joe Biden, and his Vice President Kamala Harris. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.